In this video, I'm going to create a very simple horizontal vertical oriented valve using the Orchestra Graphics Wizard and layering. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new graphic tool set. We're going to call it Tutorial 5. Then we're going to create a new symbol. We're going to call it Valve. Now, as we go into the valve, I'm going to put a line on here just as a point of reference. Use the polygon tool. Ah, I got that off a little bit. So, what do I want? Let's put this down here where we can see what we're doing. I just want to get a good equidistant piece there. Okay, now then I can get rid of my guide. And I can put this guy in a little more proportion to what I want. Okay, now we're going to duplicate him and flip him. We'll line him up. And then, let's see, let's create this guy. Okay, so let's create a property. Again, this is just going to be a simple on-off valve with vertical horizontal. So we'll create a Boolean value property. And in there, it'll connect to an object of the same attribute. Okay, now that we've done that, we can put in our fills. And using the value attribute we just created, custom property. When it's on, it's green. When it's off, it'll be dark gray. Do the same. And actually, I could have just waited. And now I can save myself a little bit of time just by doing this. OK, and there we go. There's our valve. Right. So now I can group him. And we'll call this group horizontal. And we'll duplicate him. We'll flip him. And we'll center him. Now we've got a vertical group. So let's group vertical. So now we've created our two groups. We know that when the value is on, it's going to be green. When it's off, it's going to be gray. Next step is to create our choice group. We'll call it orientation. And in the orientation group, we're going to have two choices, either horizontal or vertical. So what by doing that, I've created two layers, a horizontal layer and a vertical layer. So now we're going to line up our graphic elements. So the vertical graphic elements will go into the vertical layer. So I simply select it, drag it, and drop it. Do the same thing for the horizontal. Just drag it and drop it. So now I have placed the graphic elements in the correct layer. My Property, I don't have to do anything with it because it's common to both. So we're just going to leave it there for now. If I wanted to, however, use this property on one of the valves and not on the other, then I would have to associate that with one of the layers. And once you've placed a property on the layer, it's not available to any other layers. But we'll get into that in a little more detail in a later tutorial. At this point, we're keeping it very simple. So we have created our base valve graphic now with or with orientation. I'll save that. Now I have created a test tutorial graphic which is actually dropped into a screen on a, in the view app. So now all I have to do is grab the um, graphic and drop it. 
here we will assign it to an object. And I have an object I created earlier called simple valve 001 that has a value attribute. So let's get the name of that guy. You can hit rename and just hit control C, get it into the buffer. Come back up here. Now we can go to our owning object property and just paste it in. Select it horizontal. And now I'll show you the same valve we'll just grab that same symbol only this time we're going to make it a vertical and let's be sure and set our owning object property to the to the correct valve and we're done let's save that now to test it we are going to deploy the view app then we'll run the view app go to the app manager run the view app and this was an earlier screen so I'll just open the correct window and there they are now to test it I'm going to use the uh, object viewer. So view this in object viewer. Okay. Now let's. I have two values in there. I have the value field attribute, and then I have the UDA test attribute. So let's get our view app back up. And then we'll go get our object viewer. So now when I change the value of this guy, he should go to green. And he does. So you can see that's how you can use layering to create a simple horizontal or vertically oriented valve using the same symbol and layering. I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, please click like or, and subscribe. And you can visit my website www.charlesbvance.com or to get some tutorials go to www.learnscada.com. Thank you for listening.